What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we're actually going to be changing the spark plugs on my M156. So the engine is about to cross 33,000 miles. I figured this would be a perfect time to really show you guys how to do them. I also ended up getting the NGK spark plugs. I got these from FCP Euro. When you're working on the M156, these are actually relatively easy engines to work on. Let me show you guys how to do it. So first things first, in order for us to get into the spark plugs, we need to take these housings. Uh, we need to take off these two air boxes and these two snorkels, and that should give us access to the spark plugs right here. Just be careful, you know, not to pry it too much. Nice. Then after you take off that plate, pull on these. And also in order for you guys to take off the air boxes a lot easier, make sure to untighten these. And of course, once that's done, we need to take off the airflow mass sensor. There's a tab on the bottom. Basically, there you go. Once you hear it click, then you can take it out. Do the other one. Same thing you guys can see here. This one's on the top side and this one's on the bottom side. There you go. And then once that's done, air box is out. It's just really simple to do this. There you go. Air boxes are out. Now there is an easy access or you could clearly see um, where all the spark plugs are at and where the coil packs are. Of course, there's four on each side because it is a V8, not your lowly four cylinder. Uh, but with that said, for my own preference, I like to put a little bit of paper towel or whatever in here just to block this off, um, block off the intakes. I like it to leave it open. I like, to, I like it to be filled. Um, but I just like it to where there is a very low chance of anything going in there. Not that there is going to be, again, it's just precaution and it's just peace of mind. So you guys need a T25 bit in order to take off these coil packs uh, and that should give you access to the spark plugs. T25, there you go. I do want to mention that I did unplug the battery. Uh, when you're working with electricals, it's a good idea to unplug your battery. So do that before you guys do this job. So I had to make an extension because my little power tool is a little too thick for this angle. So I'm doing it manually right now. <laughs> As you guys can see, there are um, tabs right here and you can uh, take off the leads to the coil pack. It's totally up to you if you want to do that. Uh, some people, they take it off, some people don't. But for me, I'm going to unplug these. Again, I, I think it just kind of makes it easier for you to do these. And when you pull out your coil pack, just be careful with it. You know, don't just um, yank it out. Just be slow with it. There you go. That's one right here. Oh, wow. The clip on this one is broken. Interesting. I mean, it's an old car, so can't really fault it too much. And the third one, fourth one. So in order to remove your oil spark plugs, you will need a 14 millimeter socket. Um, unfortunately, this one isn't a magnetic one, but I do recommend you guys use a magnetic one because it'll make your life a whole lot easier taking out these spark plugs. But with that said, 14 millimeter socket, if this is the only thing you have lying around, um, you will be able to take them out, no problem. Ooh. That's a little bit of a jolt there. Okay, now of course if you don't have a magnetic one, what you can do is you can grab one of the coil pack, stick it in, wait for it to grab, and then when you pull it out, voila. There you go. All ones don't look too bad, but we'll go ahead and change them because these are actually denso, um, which is interesting. <laughs> But yeah, these are the old ones. Let's go ahead and take out the other ones. Ah, it's tight in there, Jesus Christ. Oh, goodness, I almost hit my face. Same thing. Oh wow, look at that one. This one is... Blech. 
So this one, there you go. Grab your coils. And boom, there you go, last one. Good, very good. So now that we have all of the old spark plugs out of the right bank of the engine, let's go ahead and open the new ones. Now, from what I've heard, these are already pre-gapped and already set to go, but it is always, always important to double check just in case. And for these, um, the ideal gap is between 0 0.039 and 0 0.041. So you have to have a gap tool in order to measure um, the gapage. So if you go right here, if it slides through easily, then you are all set and good to go. But it's important to check this because of course you wanna make sure that you get the right spark. So at 0 0.039, this is good. And I'll go ahead and check the other ones, but make sure to check every single one just in case. So we're gonna use the same kind of method that we did earlier. Since we don't have a magnetized socket, you don't just wanna drop it and then all of a sudden, you know, of course your gap ends up getting ruined. Um, what you want to do is just use these um, coils as kind of like a socket in a way just to set it down a little bit easier and then just kind of twist it like so. I know that's kind of a weird way to do it but again if you don't have a socket you can do this method and I've seen this done before so let's go ahead and do that right now. And you basically just want it to see through. So now we're going to use the sockets that we were using earlier to tighten it up. Of course, do not use any power tools or anything like that. Just use your hand so you can feel when it stops. Let's do this. Let's plot it down. Use a regular socket again to tighten it up. This one's a little tougher because it's such a weird angle. So now that all of the spark plugs here are new on this side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna torque them down the spec and they are going to be about 15 pound foot of torque. So let's go ahead and get a torque wrench. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna go to 15, there you go. Cool. So before putting on the coil packs, it's a good idea to put on some dielectric grease. Uh, so this will just help in terms of contact with the um, new spark plugs that we have. You don't really need to put much, as you guys can see, just a little bit. There you go. So now these should be good to go. This one was marked as number one. So this should be pretty easy. Just plot it down. There you go. And there you go, that's good to go. So for these, it doesn't need to be too tight. Just as long as it's tight enough, you should be okay. So you guys can see, I'm just seating them with my hands and then finishing up with the power tool. Not strip these. Leads to spark plug. There you go. So this bank is done. Let's go ahead and do the other ones on the other bank. <laughs> yeah, these ones are angled a little bit differently. Ooh, these ones are really annoying because these are on a really weird angle and there's not as much clearance because your fuel line is right here. And that's okay, we're making do. So I'm just gonna mark these just so I know which one came first. So this one was first. So guys, just like before for these NGKs, uh, make sure you check the gap on every single one of these. Um, and again, like I mentioned earlier, it's supposed to be 0 0.039 or 0 0.041 in between those two. All right, everyone, so now that everything is back and screwed together, just make sure you plug everything before you put back all of the trims. Everything seems to be okay, and let's go ahead and put it all together. Nice, there you 
you go. Well guys, thanks so much for watching this video. The spark plug change on the M056 isn't that hard, but it's very time consuming. Uh, but with that said, uh, I hope this helped you out. I hope you can follow along and let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next video.